Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. Playing a Wallfly special, which means just a ton of kind of ridiculous cards. Um, let's take a look. Um, surveyor. The end of any round in which all your family members are put on round 1 to 14 action spaces. Three different building resources of your choice. Lady of the Manor, of course, is an excellent card. Now, Lady of the Manor doesn't support you actually getting it, but it does give you wood. So, probably I'm taking Lady of the Manor. And if Polymorph Master comes back, that would actually be pretty nice. Because then I could go for Max Sheet category, maybe. But uh, Lady of the Manor is a good card. Alright. Elder's Daughter seems good. Um, four clay, and then you're racing for three for major improvements. Uh, Dairy Crier seems like something Lady of the Manor would appreciate. Manservant, Social Climber, Stone Cutter. So lots of cards that give stone in here. Um... itinerant preacher at the start of each round if you have two rooms you can pay two food to someone with an empty room and receive a guest token um, doesn't seem that good giving food to your opponents is generally really really bad you've got chief's grandson here uh, delivery man guess I'm taking elder's daughter uh, you know what I want someone hmm actually I'm not sure Social Climber, Stone Cutter. Do I take something that helps me get the Elder's Daughter bonus? Like I could take Delivery Men here, which gets me three wood, three clay. It takes a long time. I don't think Delivery Men is that strong. I like Elder, playing Elder's Daughter myself more. Let's try it. Banker. Um, marker on an action space whenever anyone uses an action space that provides goods with the marker on it they get one additional good no thank you uh, fencing master I love fencing master so probably taking that and stone baron don't need to worry about it fencing master for sure great card six wood action Okay, um, what do we have here? Project Servant, three food if you have a built stable, one pasture, two stone fields, renovated to stone. Oh, I see, so this gets you food if you've satisfied these conditions. Um, that's interesting. 7, 9, 11, 13. That's really interesting, actually. So to get the stable, you just have to have built uh, a room. Pasture. Pasture with lady that with fencing master should be doable. Um, oh, I'm, I'm dropping a bunch of frames on this one. Uh, sorry about this, guys. It's really annoying. Yeah, my internet has really not been consistent. I haven't been able to play other online games. Um, best friend, pay other people to get boar, cattle, sheep, vegetable, grain. Hmm. It's interesting. Interesting. I don't think I want it, though. What about fence painter? Um can choose to paint all of your fences by paying one clay per pasture. One bonus point for each pasture. Okay, that's something. I'm gonna try this Project Servant. It seems like a really interesting card to me. Um, hmm. 
Animal Tamer's Apprentice I really like. You can do some really cool stuff with Animal Tamer's Apprentice. I think though I'm going to take Dung Collector because Fencing Master kind of encourages me to go for fields early and if I can get two or fences early if I can get three fields out of Dung Collector that's really really good. And uh, Dairy Crier is absolutely fantastic with Dung Collector. Really fantastic. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at my other stuff. Oh, I should output that last game. I will, it, uh, just not right this moment. Okay, um, I have a couple early game occupations, so I'm looking for late game stuff with this action. Uh, I think Surf is okay. I actually think Surf is totally okay for me. Um, yeah, I don't really want to... This, the timing of Street Musician will be awkward. Because Fencing Master, Lady of the Manor, and Elder's Daughter all want to be played before Street Musician, I think. Surf might come just late enough that it'll be worthwhile. Oh, man. Okay, well, Iron Plow. Iron Plow with my Project Servant does some good stuff. Um, what else do we have here? Solta Tea. Feeding Fate of the Harvest. You can turn a boar and a vegetable for three bonus points. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Botanical Garden. Vegetable grain stone one bonus point for each of your planted plowed fields mm, Yeah, uh, the odds of you gaining points on this are really low because you're turning a vegetable and a grain in uh, So that means you need to really overkill Sunflower farm if you harvest at least four grain you get a bonus point per harvested grain uh, Yeah, no, thanks syrup tap no Brickyard might be playable. Uh, Slate of Hand is playable. Diary is playable. I think though Iron Plow just does exactly what I need it to. Exactly what I'm going to need it to. Even if I can Dung Collector a couple times and then Iron Plow late or something. There's some just some really silly stuff. Oh man, expansion plans. Okay, so someone's going to do a silly game where they run out of stone really early because Manservant and Shepherd Boy are all out there. There's going to be some stuff. Uh, allegory. Whenever you play this card, you get a sheep, a boar, and a cattle. That looks really good with my uh, Dairy Crier plus Dung Collector. Really good. Hmm. It might come back to me though. Plow Feast. Pay a food to the general supply. Place a food on the one green space to plow a field. Um, probably not. Private market, no. Imported timber. Fences action, no. Yeah, definitely not. Um, okay. Um, Hmm, the food from Working Gloves could actually be quite nice. Because I can pay wood and then I gain a wood with Fencing Master. But that'll come back to me. Let's try this Allegory card. Let's try it. Seems like if I lay out my game properly it should be able to do a lot of a lot of good for me 
Swamp Ashes. Whenever you get Reed, you can also receive a Wood. That looks interesting. Um, evolution. One cattle for each sheep on the sheep of accumulation space, no occupation. Uh, rum distillery is really good, but I don't have a way of getting grain. Two wood from the supply and an empty farmyard space. Forms a natural border for pastures. No. Yeah, these are all look pretty weird. Um, what are the odds I actually build an oven? Like the thing is with Elder's Daughter, it could do something really good. And I do have Surf, which like who likes the clay oven. Let's try it. Cow chips, reed beds, aqu aquaculture. Whenever you use fishing, you may take a sew action. No, because I want to play surf. Um, cow chips. Cow chips is a great card. Especially with Lady of the Manor. Hey, Sid. Um, Sid says, hi, going to check out the hand and then go to dinner and watch on the VOD. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, I have a weird hand. I mean, the power is just really high of this draft. And that's the effect of draft 10 and G7. Because G7 is very uncultivated. There are a lot of cards that are just way too strong in G7. Um, diary, whenever you play an occupation, you get a wood. So that plus my um, working gloves would be a combination. Brickyard, if I can use all the clay from Elder's Daughter, that's something. Um, strip tap is something. I'm not going to play wood path. I think diary. Diary plus fencing master just means I'm going to get a crap load of uh, crap load of wood. What are we playing? Oh, we are playing end wall. G seven. Two out of seven. Lumen G limited end wall G seven end wall G seven collection. So I think that means that the two, every two out of seven cards are going to be from these three sets, which is Lumen G Limited, NWL G45, and NWL G7. Um, no idea. Oh, Working Gloves is gone. Hmm. Okay, so I need food. Expansion plans came back. Changing plans came back. I think I take potato dibber. Yeah. There is a line where I play expansion plans, but I haven't gotten any other support for a two room house for that long. So potato dibber seems fine. And then Don't really want. I don't really want deck. Bathroom is meh. I guess sausage grinder might be something. Although I don't really want to spend. Uh, I'm going to want to go for two breeding pairs with my dung collector, so sausage grinder should be worth something. Although I don't really want to spend stone on sausage grinder, I want to build major improvements for Elder's Daughter, but I don't have to play Elder's Daughter, I guess. It's kind of a weird, this is going to be a really weird game. Um, what do I know? I know I should go for the first family growth. I'm going to need all the actions I can get, especially with Lady of the Manor. So let's do it. Let's start with uh, first action, Fencing Master. Love this card.
So I'm playing with, I never, I guess I never introduced, I'm playing with Wallfly, PM, and The Boot. And The Boot is one of the best players in, on this site. I like quite a bit. Actually, Lumen Stats placed him as having a stronger chance to win over Braggart. Like, the, the Boot playing, it, it, it was kind of cool. Um, the Boot playing a hand, if you treated the player like a card, um, the Boot playing a, a totally average hand was better than giving a totally average player um, an average hand plus braggart and replacing one of those cards with braggart. Something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, Acrobat from PM. Sure. So two wood here. Um, two wood here is good because with uh, Lady of the Manor it gets me to my six wood, which is enough to build a room. Um, Sid says, uh, I wondered if someone would go for imported timber plus evolution to get breeding cattle by stage one. Oh, interesting. I didn't think about that. Never even consider that as a combination. You know what? That's the thing. I don't have like all these cards linked in my head. So it's, um, it's just not automatic for me the way it is for people that have played the set a lot. Same with the way, like I look at a G four five card and just, I can think of all the cards it combos with which not everyone can do because I've played a lot of G G4-5. We'll make the farms a little bigger. I only saw it now, only noticed because they're both zero occupation cards. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, zero occupation cards are cool. Um, do I go for a two read or read stone food? I guess I did say that I want to, uh, I said I want myself to um, go for the first room, right? Well, two read puts me well on the way to getting that first room. And sec if I could get second action Elder's Daughter, I would be really happy. I could do ceramics. I could still do a ceramics game. So if the first fireplace goes and I get Reedstone food, I have an option of taking a grain, building the clay oven, and then playing ceramics. And there's my four clay, and then a free pottery. So that's an option. That's absolutely an option. Let's see what Wallfly does here. I wonder who took working gloves. The card's got like a... The card's got like a 5.0 power. Three, or not 5.0, it's got like a 5 average draft position. So I'm surprised that it got taken as early as it did. Uh, three wood here. Yeah, three wood. So now I want to do stuff that gives me food. Because I want to be able to play occupations and not have it affect my, uh, my stuff. Can place corn basket. Oh, I like this. Okay, I've really this card has really come around. This card is quite interesting. It's like rancher, but the um, but it lets you get building resources, any building resource of your choice, and it, its requirement is that you have the most uh, grain, which is quite cool actually. Because it it incent um going for grain early on in the game is usually quite bad so kind of neat I like it and of course with uh, acrobat plus dancer he has no problems with going on the uh, traveling player space and then jumping to a grain I wonder if uh, PM took um, a drum player just, uh, just so that no one else could get it Putting a read. 
feet on drum basket. So I'll play an occupation here, and I will play. Uh, I will play elder's daughter here, I think. And then after elder's daughter, I assume that the boot will build the two clay fireplace. So then I will take one grain. Oh, I just realized I don't have stone yet. So I actually can't build the clay oven. Not yet. Hmm. That might have been a mistake. So Boot's going to do two clay fireplace here. Yeah. So then what am I going to do? Oh man, I really screwed this up already. <laughs> I can't read stone food. It's not available. I guess I can start player. Yeah, oh jeez. Okay, Wallfly is doing start player. This is already a misplay by me. Hmm. One grain. So then my next round can be reed stone food and then clay oven. And I'm not able to build build a room, but I'll have gotten my oven out, and then I'm in a good spot to ceramics pottery. Yeah. I also have diary that I want to play. I also want to play Lady of the Manor. I got lots that I want to do. Lots, lots, lots. Beadstone food. So let's see if anyone blocks major minor. If they do, it'll set me back. But uh, hopefully not. Yeah, there's lots of good actions available. I want them to go for all those good actions. Yeah, PM with that six clay action is a little scary because it might mean that he's going to go for pottery if he gets one more reedstone food action and he sees me play ceramics he could respond by building the pottery himself but if he's going for a bunch of grain I would hope that he's going to uh, want to build an oven himself so yeah we'll see we will see Okay, let's do it. Clay oven feed four. Oh, field doctor here for wallfly looks like. I don't know why Wallfly decided to give PM a wood by putting the splinter wood plow over there, but that was nice of her. Is Boot going to build here? He's going to start player. Okay. Start player working gloves. All right.
This is a really quick start to the game. Everyone's played really quickly so far. Clay to basket for PM. So I wonder if he's going for an early um, renovation strategy. And family growth comes around five. So Boot is going to build. Build a room. So then I will... I could start player. Although Wallfly is not in a position to grow. Wallfly is a couple actions away. She has to build field and then field doctor. Which means that six wood is going to come to me. Boot says I wish it wasn't family growth. <laughs> That's funny. Don't hear that too often. Wallfly plays field doctor. So I get six wood. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And say thank you very much. Boot says, I guess I could have done six wood. Could have, yeah. PM plays Occupation Social Climber. All right. So I wonder if PM will stone oven for the food. Oh, and we've got I Minor Guest for boot already. So he's going to have three actions next round, which is quite a few. Or four, four actions next round. So he's going to have like three actions in a row in all likelihood that are unencumbered. So Wallfly plows that last field. So Wallfly's in a good spot to, uh, if Wallfly can family growth ahead of me next round, so I don't get family growth till round seven. So there's very little pressure on me to do anything here. Um, I wanna play Project Servant still, I think. So that means, or am I gonna build more than one room at once? I guess I wanna do that, don't I? With that six wood action, maybe give up on Project Servant. So if I'm going to do that, I should take a three read here. Yeah. Would have been nice to block the Raidstone food space. Block PM from build, uh, but he gets stoned from Social Climber, so yeah. He'll probably respond as soon as I play ceramics. He'll probably play uh, pottery, I would expect. What did PM do? He grabbed the wood. Okay. So I can build two rooms at once in round seven. <laughs> PM says, not good. He wanted Reno, of course. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to build two rooms at once, of course. So the question is, what else do I do? Hmm. Six clay. Six clay gets me a cooking hearth. I guess six clay lets me, if I do get the pottery, actually eat something with it. Yeah, that's fine. PM plays Rum Distillery. Yeah, Rum Distillery, good card. 
Interesting that he does it on start player. Not too happy about that. I hope the boot isn't going to do something like three wood, ladder, one reed. I don't think he would because that would be a series of very inefficient actions, but it's possible. So rum distillery and then we've got smuggler. Rum distillery is a fantastic card. Um, and Wildfly plays Muddy Bog. Muddy Bog gives uh, three clay. Smuggler does that. Hmm. Do I build two rooms here? Or do I build two rooms next round and then family growth? My ceramics is safe. I can play that no matter what. So my feeding is all set, as long as I don't spend any more food here. But I could try to get that pottery out. I think what I do is I take, uh, take the wood here. You know, I'm really not sure actually. This is like, this is pretty hard. This is a pretty hard choice. I, I could just build a cooking hearth here. You know what, I should do that. Just build the cooking hearth, get it out of the way. And now I can take the sheep or the boar next time around. I'm not gonna wanna reno for a while anyways, so. I think that's fine. So PM is going to reno. I don't know if he's going to reno twice, but he's going to reno for sure. I wonder if Boot is lining up that six wood. I wonder if Boot thinks he's going to get six wood or not. I'm interested to know. Boot plays Occupation Delivery Man. Cool. Delivery Man's fine. I mean, it's as good as any of the actions here. Three wood, four clay. But what it really is, is it lets him get one of those. I, he can leave either six wood or, f or uh, six clay for himself next round. Is he going to take the sheep as well? I wonder if he thinks I'm going for the sheep. I'm sure PM will build the pottery. I would be shocked if he doesn't, but if I get it, I think I win. If I get the pottery, I'm pretty sure I win. So PM goes for the six wood, all right, all right. So boot probably six clay, I would think. So I build room and then family growth ceramics. The only time PM doesn't build the pottery is if he's going for a stone house strategy. But I'm pretty sure he's going to do it anyways. Two rooms. So I want to play Surf. Surf unlocks So Bake as a five food action for me, which is better than anything else on the board, especially once the fishing and traveling player spaces can't keep up with the rounds. So yeah, I want to be doing that. Um, hmm. Pottery's gone. There we go. It's gone. That's too bad. But uh, I expected that to happen. I 
I will still play the ceramics. Oh, you know what? He might have drafted the upgrade. PM might have. And I took ceramics. He never saw ceramics in the draft. So if PM has the upgrade, then there's a chance that he upgrades and I can get it back. I can get it for free still. Especially if he doesn't pay attention. But yeah, I'm doing this either way. Whoops. Play farm. Announce. Boot play spring worker, okay. Why? Oh, wood wood to green grain, okay. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, with smuggler, okay. Yeah, so spring worker from boot. Plus smuggler, so he can turn two wood into two grain, and then he can bake one of them and sow the other. That's cool. Corn basket and different. Start of each round. I'm confused. Corn basket extensions and renovations. I'm confused. Why does he get a stone there? I think his timing is off. Start of round. No, I don't think he did it right. Yeah, PM has one fewer stone, yes. Yeah, this is weird. This is hard to keep. I'm having a hard time keeping up with this game. Too many. A lot of cards that I haven't um, seen. Just in the draft, yeah. So, yeah, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, so he took off the stone. That's all I cared about. So, how do I feed this next harvest? Uh -huh, trick question. I already have a cooking hearth. So I can take a three sheep or two boar or five food fishing. And actually I'm, I could do that first move here. Five food fishing. Mm, I do need the food. Odds are one of the three wood actions come back to me. So I'm giving up one potential wood. And when I family growth, my minor improvement will be um, diary. Yeah, diary's fine. So I want to keep in mind that PM can, uh, actually, was that card in the draft? The pottery upgrade, or am I confusing this game with the last game? 
I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I just need to keep it in mind that PM might have it. And if he does have it, boom, I play the pinery, the pottery instantly. So, I have two clay. I think what I wanna do is I wanna take enough clay that I can, um, is it four rounds? Add four to the round number, yep. So expansion plans for PM. Um, what I wanna do, is I want to um, I want to take enough clay with my next clay action that I can reno and build a fireplace so that I can get to three major improvements. If I build three major improvements, that's going to be really hard for anyone to beat. So that would make me happy. So family growth is safe, so I can do anything with this move. So I could occupation Lady of the Manor, for example. I could occupation Surf. I think though three wood is okay. I wanna keep getting lots of wood so I can fence nice and early. Yeah, I don't have diary out yet, so yeah, I don't wanna, I'm in no rush to do that stuff. So yeah, Project Servant dies, but uh, Dung Collector, Dairy, Dairy Crier, Surf, Lady of the Manor. I can hold Lady of the Manor now to the end of the game. I have so much wood, I have no need to play it early. So I can hold it to the end of the game when I already know that I'm going to max out everything. PM saying Lighthouse would have been nice with the expansion plans yeah round seven i mean that's the gamble every time you take expansion plans you're saying if reno comes round five i can do something but uh if you don't get it it's gonna be really hard prefect for wallfly that works nicely with her joinery and basket makers workshop and the pottery from pm all three uh, guilds out already. So family growth and diary. So now my next occupation that I play gets me three wood and then each occupation after that gets me two wood in the form of fences. So yeah, that's good. So probably what it means is I wanna fence in two parts. I want to fence uh, 10, make my make it so that I have room for two breeding pairs, because that's my minimum, minimal number for dung collector. So how much more wood do I need for that? I only need one more um, occupation action to have enough. Oh, PM plays major fireplace, okay. Gets that third major improvement, which is really key. Like I was saying, because if you have three, it's really hard for anyone to surpass you. So what do I need to do with my first move? Traveling players is available. Four wood, three wood is available. I think though, I take a boar with my first move. Just to be safe, just to be totally, totally safe. Yeah, so now, now what I'm looking at is um, fencing plus dairy crier dung collector by the end of round 11. Dung collector then is th worth three fields and then iron plow is my other two fields. So I have zero need for, um, absolutely zero need for um, uh, plow sow in this game. 
which is good because I have Surf, and Surf doesn't want to go on Plow So, Surf wants to go on So Bake, so yeah, that works out really well. So I'm thinking, what am I thinking that I'm gonna do? Next, what's my next improvement, I guess is the question. Oh, Wallfly plays Cooking Hearth. All right, so if I want to tie for um, Elder's Daughter, I need to build a stone oven. In order to do that, I need to take three stone. So that means I should probably do a start player action. Now that stone oven is tempting. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Um, four wood? Four wood is never going to be bad. With four wood, I can now do something like start player potato dipper to get the three stone. Or the, yeah, to get the three stone. First move next round. Yeah, there's just going to be so much stuff available. It's kind of silly. I have two actions here. One of them is going to be start player potato dipper. So that means I'm eating my other boar if I play an occupation here. But I think that's okay. So, minus one, and then occupation. Hello. A bunch of, I think that's Korean. A bunch of Korean characters, not sure how to say your name. Um, and then playing occupation, occupation, dunk collector. So that costs me two. I get a wood plus two wood from my fencing master. I eat a boar. I'm left with one food going into the next round. Cool. So I take three stone. Three stone gets me that stone oven. Oh, did Boot say he's going to get the stone? I didn't see. Wood to grain. Okay, good. Oh, he did say grain to stone. Or did he not show it? I don't remember. I wasn't really paying attention. He might build a stone oven here. Oh, he does. Oh. Said wood to grain. I'm not going to take three stone if he's sitting at, sitting at three stone. Whatever. That's annoying. Listening to Agricola, um, Stone House, yeah, Stone House from PM. Let's fence. So six from my fencing master, plus four here. For 10, fence 10, yep. So then my next two moves are one cattle and then occupation dairy crier. My color is green, yes, yeah, I'm playing green. Uh, so yeah, I will take a cattle 
and then I will do occupation dairy crier. Dairy crier. Dairy crier will get me two two sheep, one cattle. So I'll have two cattle, two sheep, which is enough to double breed, which lets me activate dung collector for the rest of the game. So that means I need to do a food action. So like six food traveling players, for example. So I do need to get up to eight food in round 11. So traveling players taking it this round will go a long way to doing that. So I probably will do that. Boot plays occupation talented tradesperson. Whenever you day labor. Oh, <laughs> okay, this is pretty good. Day labor plus three wood, like uh, that seems Seems pretty good. That's that's G7, G6 for ya. Uh, maybe it's not too good, I don't know. It looks really, really strong to me, but hey, that's me. Um, I'm just gonna take one cattle, right? Now I can do start player cow chips instead of, I won't play Dairy Crier yet, I'll play Dairy Crier next round when it's cheaper. I'll start player cow chips and then grab two boar with my first action and that two boar is six food. So, oh you know what, I'm already start player, I don't need to start player here. Ah, it's probably worth it. Yeah, unfortunately my elder's daughter have given three points to PM and Wallfly, but you know what? I'm not as afraid of them as I am of the boot. Grab two boar. I would like to, I think PM probably fences with this action. Which is unfortunate because that means Dairy Crier gives him a pair of sheep. Actually, Dairy Crier gives everybody a nice amount of food this round. But uh, there's not too much I can do about that. My score? Uh, I don't look at my score until uh, late in the game. Um, I, Because it doesn't really mean anything. Because score doesn't include the amount of resources you have on your farm. And that makes a big difference into what you're doing. Uh, P yeah, white is on a, um, white and red are both on two room houses. Yeah, white, uh, red played the occupation field doctor. White plays, played the occupation field doctor, which let, our uh, red, sorry, red, which is wallfly, played field doctor, which lets them family growth if they have four fields in this exact setup. And white is waiting for the uh, I'm, uh, minor improvement expansion plans to give a free stone room. It doesn't come, however, until round 12. So we're going to see them normally grow at that time. So they're, they're holding on to it for a long time. What's really good about my strategy is I don't care about plowing at all. Dung collector, I'm going to plow with my occupations dung collector and with my iron plow. That's all I'm going to do. I only need one plow, plow one field action the whole game, which is really good. Wallfly plays occupy. Oh, these guys, 
playing occupations when I want to play occupations. Um, I'm going to grab a pair of sheep. Because now that's enough for my two breeding pairs. So if I absolutely need to, I can take cattle, eat both my cattle, and that's nine food there. So. Oh, I have sausage grinder. Oh, I want to play sausage grinder. Yes, I do. I want to play that card before I eat any more animals. Korean version don't have these cards. Yes, yeah. Um, they are, a lot of them are unpublished. So we are, we play test these cards as well as for publishing, but we also make cards for fun that we like to play with on the site. My nickname, I love Cookie Run. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, I love Cookie Run. FR is France deck, Camembert is from the France deck. Boot did start player. Okay. Um, hmm. So I need food. So playing my sausage grinder gets me food. So I think I will do that. Oh, boot plays occupation. Okay. So that locks out my uh, dairy crier even later. So that's too bad, but not really a big deal. Um, I can turn two boar into eight food, so I can let my sheep and cattle breed. So that's how I'll pay for this harvest coming up. Because the cattle is a five food action. Um, no, I won't. I won't eat my cow. I want to breed my cow because cow breeding is worth more than anything else. What I will do is I will eat two boar to um, two boar for. feed eight plus the field. And I'll put the field here, I guess. So it's the side. So now one sheep, one cattle is worth, um, it's normally six, it's worth eight food per harvest. So that's quite a bit. So I'm breeding eight food per harvest, which is really good. see what the boot does here kind of interested to see so he does plow so okay yeah I, I don't need plow so at all so I don't really care um, do I want to go for start player is an interesting question like I could start player iron plow with this first action and then family growth round 13 or plow one field. I also have allegory, which is interesting. Kind of want to play allegory at some point. Oh, botanical garden from Wallfly. That's good. Okay, that's good. I wanted to see Wallfly do something different. So I'm going to occupation. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I really want to do. 
play Occupation Dairy Crier. So I'm going to eat a sheep to get two sheep and a cattle. So yeah, I that means my feeding is basically set for the rest of the game. So now I want to do stuff that gets me uh, gets me good stuff. I want to get fields and fence. I want to get um, yeah. There's lots that I still want to do. So I need to fence five more. So I have enough for iron plow plus fencing 50, up to 15. Um, I'm going to take six wood here because I want to start getting going on my renovations. So I want to reno iron plow here, I think, before the end of this round, and then also take vegetable. I think those are the, my remaining actions. PM plays Plow Feast. Sure. That's something. I also have Surf, so so bake is quite a bit better for me. Oh, the one vegetable space is gone. That's fine. Uh, I will Occupation Surf here then. And I get a wood and a fence from Fencing Master. What's two food? Each player can pay a food. I have no need. I'm going to do other stuff. Actually, I guess it would replace the need for iron plow, but I like the sew that I get out of iron plow, so I think it's fine. No problem. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna, I guess I could play Allegory here is the other thing that I could do. So if I play Allegory, I get a boar and eight food. So I'll probably do that. Ooh, but I do that, do I do that over other stuff is the question. Like I could take vegetable here and then plow a field with my second action. Also family growth is available. Yeah, you know what? These guys don't care about plow and field. I'm going to family growth. P 
PM takes two cattle, sure. What's Boot doing? Boot takes the boar, okay. So Wallfly, I bet Wallfly, oh, six wood for Wallfly. Yeah, absolutely. So then I can do one vegetable. So I want to keep Lady of the Manor in mind. Wallfly looking like she's going to have three categories. PM, two categories, boot, uh, probably three. So if I want Lady of the Manor to be worth something, I need to get four. So my four could be fields, um, pastures, and then two types of crops. That's probably going to be the easiest one because uh, cow chips plus potato dipper should make it very easy for me to get all the crops that I want. Wooden path for PM. I don't really care. Three grain in a food or grain and immediately sow it. Is the food worth anything? Probably not. All oh, the food will be worth something, but I think the guarantee of this play is a bit better. this so plus two extra like that for two sheep and a for eleven food so that means I made one too many food and I can plow a field PM went for family growth, interesting. This game is just flying by. Just flying by. Boot gonna go for so bake? No, reno fence, okay. So wallfly does normal fencing here. 
If she doesn't, then I fence. Oh, she does plow, so, okay. So I do normal fencing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Two free from fencing master plus another three. And then so, if so comes back to me, So I have four more actions. My feeding is, I mean, I can eat two sheep for eight food. And if I get another sow action, I have way more uh, vegetables than I will need. So that's fine. And yeah, Wallfly is not going to sow bake. She has no need. So that means I get to go on the sow space. So that means I'm looking at four categories. So that means my Lady of the Manor is worth playing. So yeah, I think that was a pretty huge mistake by Wallfly. Good. Yeah, that means I can uh, eat uh, vegetables. Oh, and actually I get an extra grain. Yeah, so I get one extra vegetable from my potato dipper and one extra grain from my cow chips. So this just that just went as well as it could have for me. Went really well. So yeah, Lady of the Manor is a three point play now. Because Boot can't catch me. Actually yeah, no, he can't. He doesn't have enough uh doesn't have enough vegetables. So yeah. Lady of the Manor is a three point action. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just got so many good cards. Like, it's kind of silly. There's so, so many good cards. Um, so I can't reno, so the stone's not worth anything for me. So I could take one boar, I could take wood and then play allegory. What else is worth points? Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Take wood. Boot gets 51, and he's not beating 51, or PM's beating him. That's a lot. 52 for PM. Wow. So I play Allegory, get a 4. A sheep and a cattle and then play occupation lady of the manor okay so I can eat a sheep for three food and two vegetables for nine food.
Oh no, I can't do. So, two sheep, two V to feed. I get a field. I'm gonna do that. And I get one point from cow chips. I get one point from allegory. And I get three points from Lady of the Manor. So what's my final score? Whatever I score plus five. So I score 50. I'm so disappointed that I didn't beat this play. Holy. Expansion plans. Freestone rooms are too good. When, when are we going to learn? Uh, my score ends up being 50, but I mean PM scored 52 and Boot scored 51, so it doesn't matter because it wasn't enough for me to win. was not enough for me to win. The, um, the swing on stone... Um, am I going to play another game? No, nah, this was my second game today. I'm not going to play another. Um, I'm just complaining about uh, expansion plans and saying that in three years, everyone's going to be on my side. <laughs> They're going to realize it needs to be banned. I, I, I don't think it's crazy strong. I just think zero stone stone rooms is a problem. Like, it... Uh, Zero stone stone rooms have always been like really, really good. So, yeah. Anyways, um, played this uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah. Look at all my four point categories field, pastures, grain, vegetables, cattle. So, I actually got five, five scoring categories where I maxed out. No negative points. Um, the problem was I just didn't quite have enough, um, um, yeah, if I get pottery, I win. I coast to the victory for sure. Yeah, so I was I wasn't expecting um
Um, Um, yeah, I should have just demanded to change there. Oh, well. Thanks, uh, I love Cookie Run. Hope you ha have a good day. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, well, it's just frustrating because, like, if we were playing in real life, it, I would have, like, it's just an example where if we're playing in real life, I can see Boot, Boot's farm, and I can see his smuggler exchanges. Um... Now, to be fair, he gets to decide on Smuggler after I would have to do Start Player. But I could take six wood at that point. And then I can fence earlier, and then I can hold Breeding Pair of Boar, for example, or do some other stuff. So, let's look at the draft for that game. Just look at how good all the cards were. Three, two, five, nine, oh, two. So yeah, Lady of the Manor. So I took Elder's Daughter here second, and it's behind Social Climber and Stonecutter, which is interesting. I'm surprised. I think Social Climber is really good. Fencing Master, obvious pick. So I took Project Servant. Fence Painter is actually 3.3 .3 power. Hmm. I mean, I didn't play Project Servant, and I played Allegory at the end, but would Fence Painter have been more? I had four clay, or did I only have three clay? I don't remember how much clay I had. Dung Collector, yeah, Dairy Cryer. I just got like a bunch of really good cards. Iron Plow here over Camembert and Diary, but Diary came back. Botanical Garden, yeah, it doesn't seem that good. Allegory, only 1.7. I guess the wood cost is really high, but yeah, I, um, yeah, expansion plans. You can look at its draft position. Well, mm, I don't know. Plow feast. It's interesting. Rum Distillery, 4.2, yeah. So I took Ceramics here. Ceramics is behind Evolution as well. And Deck has power zero. <laughs> yeah, people probably draft Deck, but then don't bother like playing it because they're like, what is this going to do for me? Um, cow Chips, yeah. Obvious Pig, Diary, yeah. Potato Dibber. So I passed on Expansion Plans a second time. So maybe, but it's hard for me to pass on Potato Dibber when I have Lady in Waiting. Or not Lady in Waiting, Lady of the Manor. And then Sausage Grinder. Sausage Grinder was actually great. S super good. Especially because all the majors got just absolutely evaporated. Just absolutely evaporated. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think Evolution is, pr is probably not too strong, but that's not the issue. The, the issue is that building rooms that don't cost you, building stone rooms without costing you stone is an amazingly good strategy. Like, uh, if you compare it to Hut Builder, Hut Builder is an occupation. 
has to be played in, st in stage one and it only comes one round earlier than the free um, stone from expansion plans. Yeah. And he didn't even play like Manservant or any other combination Stonehouse cards, just Social Climber. Like, yeah. I think it's too good. Now, of course, he was helped by the fact that he got a couple six wood actions. Like, I should have changed from my three stone to six wood, but that was a mistake by me. Qualify saying smuggler comes afterwards. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that means that when if he announces it, I can say I'm gonna do wood instead of stone. Oh well, it's kind of annoying. I mean, anytime you lose by two points to the person that you gave six stone to, like that's pretty sad. <laughs> or six wood to, that's pretty sad. Um, especially because you know what? If I if he doesn't get six wood, he can't hold those breeding pair of sheep. He's not fencing as early as he did. And the then the sheep that he got from uh, Dairy Cry are not worth anything. So. Oh well, that happens. I scored 50, which is very respectable. Especially considering... Um, but yeah, I grew twice in a row, so I should have been able to do even better. Yeah. Everything was just a little too late. Just a little too late. For all the food that I had av uh, available to me, I should have done just that little bit better. Mm. Yeah. I think that's the I think that's the key moment, and that's a mistake by me. And it's the same thing where I'm playing too quick as I'm streaming. I should have said, okay, no, pause. This changes the game state, therefore I need to change my actions. Because I shouldn't have just been like, okay, three stone to get the stone oven, of course. Because that's actually quite a big swing. Like, um, boot building that stone oven means that Wallfly and PM were guaranteed the three points from Elder's Daughter. So, yeah, funny. All the all the major improvements disappeared by like what was it round eight round nine? It's pretty ridiculous. That's the power of uh, social climber, I guess, putting all that extra stone in the game early on. <laughs> it was gone. Those <laughs> major improvements were gone so quick. I was in a position where I could have built a three clay fireplace too. Oh well. That's just the way it goes. Um, yeah, I'm not such a big fan of playing G7 just because I think the, like the, if you look at the average power, the, the problem is people play test cards that they want to ult ultimately be published and they don't usually play test cards that are like really bad, like below power one. So it's just power creep, right? And then Wallfly plays draft 10. So it's just like the average power of the cards you draft are just that much more, which is not, I'm not that much of a fan of. Cause yeah, it just makes playing occupations too good. Like you look at the middle of the game, the occupation space was so, so contested, which is not the case in the usual game. And because it was so contested, then you get really good side actions like six clay and six wood. So yeah. Hmm. Different kind of game. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, when Boot plays Stone Oven, I'm like, hey, you don't have three stone. And then it's like, oh, okay, you did. Oh, well, that happens. Um, that's going to be all for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Uh, when am I going to stream next? Maybe tomorrow. If I get home early tomorrow, I will. If not tomorrow, though, um, maybe Friday. And if not Friday, um, Saturday or Sunday. So, um, 
keep an eye out for that. If you're watching me on YouTube, give me a follow on Twitch, and then you, just like I Love Cookie Run, can ask questions like, are you going to eat a cow, and what's your score, and say things like, oh good, you're a pro player. <laughs> um, yeah. And if you follow me on Twitch and not YouTube, follow me on YouTube because the VODs on YouTube are there forever, whereas Twitch times them out after like a week, I think, on my past broadcasts. So, yeah. Um, I think Nathan and I are going to start doing, uh, doing videos together again. Um, we've kind of had some changes to like our house and I think Nathan's work is going to change soon. So we're going to have more time to do that. So look forward to that. We might have another, uh, might start doing those videos regularly again. I think everyone really enjoyed them. So try to do that and make them really accessible. Um, otherwise, I'm going to think about going to Gen Con because they have the, um, they haven't announced it yet, but if they're going to have a 2019 World Championship for Agricola, uh, they might have qualifiers there. And it would be really cool to go and um, and cast them, especially if like Joe and Lumen and people are gonna be there. That would be really cool. And I can drive. I'm close enough to Indianapolis. I can drive there. Um, I wouldn't be able to participate because I'm Canadian, but uh, it'd be cool to go hang out and and then ultimately what my goal would be is to go cast the games and then use them to be like, hey, let send me to the championship and I'll do your online presence for you and everything because that would be cool to do because I was really disappointed there's no they didn't stream any of the games like they didn't have any online content like they put those pictures on Facebook but that was it so yeah anyways this has gone on way too long uh, so yeah I'm out see ya later